Good morning, it is Friday, 305 carb day. This is my, I had breakfast, I didn't show you because it's the same every day, but this is my pre-workout today. Switch it up because I don't have enough ground, I don't have enough deli turkey. I had to up it to just fit my macros, so I don't have enough, so I did egg whites. Kimchi, of course, sweet potato, a little tiny bit of cashew butter, and a caramel rice cake. I'll put the macros on the screen. I'm eating this 30 minutes later than I wanted to because I got caught up with work, so I'm going to rush and eat this and then go to the gym for a high-volume upper body day. I will catch you after my workout. Hello. Going to the gym now. And, oh my gosh, I got to tell you, this morning I did not do fasted cardio because I'm doing my hit. Ugh. I hate it, ugh, but I'm doing it, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be fucking great because I'm eating 305 carbs today, so it's fine. If I can eat that many carbs, I can do some hit. Not a big deal, but, so I didn't, I usually take my B4 in the morning no matter what. This morning, I don't know why, I was like, you know what, no, I'll, I'll save it for my workout. And I've just been having like, not an off day at all, just like, in a, in a weird, not, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I, I'm not in a bad mood. I'm just always in a fucking amazing mood every morning because I take this. Because they have actually mood enhancers in this. So, I think I'm just going to take this every fucking day, every morning. Because it made, it makes a difference. I just wanted to give you guys that little tidbit of information because I feel so fucking amazing when I take B4. So that being said, I'm gonna get out of here and I will see you for my fucking post-workout meal, which is 98 grams of carbs. Yeah, a lot of rice. I love it. So, see you then. Same meal as I've had all week long. Rice, turkey, asparagus, seasoned with Trader Joe's seasoning salt. It tastes like, I think it tastes like the ramen noodle packets of seasoning. It's, I like it. It brings me back memories, but I'm shaking. I have to eat this right now. It's five o'clock and this is my third meal of the day. Big ass. It's like 600 calories. Yes. I love you, rice. <laughs> I still haven't seen her. I still have not seen her. I'm too short. I can't fucking see her. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's so beautiful. I can't. Alright, fuck it. Give me my book. I'm gonna make sure she's in Oh my god. Oh my god, that mall security guard is the luckiest man ever. I don't think he sees it that way. The guard in security, and I'm really jealous of him. Are you guys together? Yeah. Oh my god. How many books do you have? Wait, what should I do if they ask for my phone? What? Give them the phone if they ask for it? This woman's gonna ask for my phone. I don't know. Here, you take both books, I'll say I'll take the picture for you. No, it's okay. You can meet her. I want to, but it's all good. I'll just ask her to hold it. I'll just ask her to video it. Yes, could you just could you just hold the video? Yeah. Thank you. Just keep it running. What am I Oh, yeah. Got the video. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. My heart, when she said, do you want a picture? Do you know how bad my heart dropped? Oh, no. It dropped to my asshole. <laughs> There was serving, like, I don't mind that. Cool. I'm happy for you. You're so good. Well, I usually pick it up on that sort of stuff. All right, as my eggs cook, I'm gonna give you a little breakdown of what's going on. I just woke up, um, kind of a little bit ago. Just sent Paul my check-in because I have no idea what I'm doing today. So, yesterday I had 305 carbs, and I yesterday I weighed 107.6. This morning I weighed 106, 106.4. So I dropped a little bit over a pound, which was fucking awesome. I looked amazing in my check-in photos. I just feel so fucking good. So thank God Paul just emailed me back because I am headed to go pose and I had no idea what I was eating. So I woke up and I was going to do my fasted cardio, took all of my stuff, I was ready to go, walked to the cardio room, um, no one in there to let me in, but I have no time to go and drive to the gym because I have to go do posing. So I am just making four ounces of egg whites, one egg, kimchi, and two cheddar rice cakes just as like a really light breakfast because I don't like to go to posing with a ton of food in me or else I would be eating my cream of rice right now. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. So I will put the macros on the screen once everything is done and then I gotta go pose, I will see you later. All right, so this is my breakfast. I'm so sorry, I really have to just eat this and run. I have no time. I'm already gonna be late, so is Brian. So bye, gotta eat. Back from posing, I drove to my gym to go do my cardio and there's one treadmill and there was someone on it so <laughs> that's how my morning is going i am so tired for some reason i just think it's like me was my like my running around all morning and being like completely fucked up with my routine my routine was so fucked up and i'm such a creature of habit but that's okay i just actually i did a little mini rant on instagram talking about if your morning goes wrong if you wake up late you can't make your breakfast or you go to make breakfast and you're out of something i don't know like what could possibly go wrong but if you feel rushed and you feel like everything is going wrong that's just kind of breathe like literally like stop breathe and just fucking laugh about it and have a good outlook on the rest of the day your whole day does not need to be ruined and go wrong because the morning kind of didn't go your exact way as planned being pissed off and upset and annoyed that your morning didn't go as planned or as you would have wished that's not going to change the past and make your day you know what i mean like being upset isn't going to change what happened in the morning all you can do is brush it off and make the rest of the day awesome and that's what i'm doing so right now oh my shoulder i have to put this down i just trained upper body yesterday and it is i'm so sore holding this camera so i have a hot coffee here this is my cream of rice with i don't want it to spill but it is my same shit you guys already know um i added the cocoa nibs cacao nibs to it because i needed fat and i will do it's so good with the, co the cacao nibs but i'm gonna eat i really have to pee so i'm gonna eat this before it gets cold i just wanted to show you guys and then yeah for now that's it see you later Right, so here for another commentary behind a workout because this was a heavy leg day for me and I really want to talk about it. So I left this part in with me like stretching and getting, this is what I do exactly when I warm up to squat. So I stretch out my lats, I take a huge big deep breath, it's a process. But this was actually my second warm up set. The set before this, I just did a 25 pound plate on each side for eight reps just to get acclimated to the weight slowly, get my body warm and used to the movement of squats. So I am just doing five reps of this because I don't want to pre-exhaust my legs. Warming up before a big movement like this is fucking key, you guys. You have to take your time and warm up and work your way 
way up to that heavy set that you're going to do. So I don't count these towards my sets at all. This is just a warm up. So now I'm going to go in to my third warm up set, 155. I just added a 10 pound plate on each side. I'm only going for three reps here because as the weight gets heavier, I, like I said, I don't want to pre exhaust my legs because I'm going for 190 pounds today. So just three reps really focusing on form and breathing throughout these warm-up sets. I cannot stress how important this is. So going into the third warm-up set, it's 170 pounds. I just do two reps here. Like I said, weight gets high, heavier. Reps for the warm-up set get lower because as the weight gets heavier, I do not want to exhaust my legs and then just be like completely toast for my heavy set. So just two reps here. And then we go into my last warm up set, which is 185, just for one rep here. I, I know I can squat this, but it's very comforting having Brian behind me. I just, I don't know, he's like my little crutch, so I needed him behind me. But went up super easy. I felt so fucking good. So now we're going to go into attempt number one of my heavy squat. So this is 190 pounds. I'm keeping this in here to show you how much I'm stretching my lats, stretching my legs before I get under the bar. This is, I didn't learn this anywhere. This is just what feels good for me. I'm a low bar squatter. So I put the bar, like I rest it on my rear delt and it's actually, it creates like a shelf. So I'm just going to let this play. Um, in my head, I was very nervous to lift this. I'm very lean right now. I'm um, about 9% body fat. I'm 5'1", weighing in at 106 pounds. So I'm a tiny girl, and this is 190 pounds. So I was nervous, to be completely honest. So I'm just going to let the footage play so you can watch, and then I'm going to have you listen to the conversation I had with Brian after I only got three reps here, when I was going for five reps. In my head this whole time, I was telling myself that I wasn't going low enough. I was convinced that I was not going low enough. Do five sets of three. Yeah. That sucked balls. No, you're something great. You're in your head. I'm not happy. Get out of your head. I literally said to Brian, I'm not happy. Did that suck balls? Like I am just already telling myself that I failed. And then I went back, I looked at the footage and I was like, Christina, you're such a dumbass. You were totally going low enough. Like you got this. So actually I didn't even count that previous set of three because that's just my personality. I needed the full four sets of five reps and I fucking killed it. It felt so amazing. I was on like such a fucking high and I didn't even have my candy yet. I actually ate my Sour Patch Kids right before my deadlifts. So no candy, just fucking strength. I don't wear a belt, no knee sleeves, no nothing, just abs. <laughs> now I'm going into my deadlifts. I didn't want to add in every single warm up set because this video was going to be like fucking 35 minutes long and you don't have to see me warming up, but I do the same exact protocol with my sumo deadlifts. I slowly increase the weight and just do, you know, five, three, two, one reps and really just focus on form and acclimating my legs to the movement and to the weight. So here we go. I did four sets of five reps. I could have done so much more weight. Sumo deadlifts are pretty simple to me. Um, if you can look at my back, please, it is straight the whole time. That is what you want. You do not want to round out your back. You want to take a giant motherfucking breath when you are deadlifting and push the ground as if it's like a leg press. That is what I am literally imagining, pushing the ground with my feet. I am not pulling the weight. I am pushing the ground with my feet. And that is what you need to think of through every single rep you do when doing a deadlift. This is so important. This is, I want this to be a leg movement, not a lower back arm movement. Hype right here. Now these babies, all right, I'm having so much fucking fun doing heavy ass walking lunges. So I did 115 pounds for three sets of 20. I had Brian walk behind me just to make sure. Like I said, I'm only 106 pounds. So lunging and walking with 100 
and 15 pounds on my back. I was nervous, but I knew I could fucking do it. And I crushed it. So I also did warm up with lighter weight walking lunges before this. But like I said, I didn't want to add in every single warm up set. I wanted to keep this footage kind of raw and not speed it up and show you my pace and my form. But um, pushing through my heel here, really going and like tapping my knee to the ground, making sure I'm doing a full lunge and not cheating at all. And this was actually like my last exercise. I only did four exercises because I warmed up very heavily and I was pushing a lot of weight. So uh, I was in the gym for like two and a half hours with all like the warming up and everything like and taking proper rest time in between sets. So this was my last real workout of the day. I did single leg press four sets of 15 reps and I put my foot in the middle of the platform and I'm really pushing with my heel and I honestly feel this so much in my glutes and in my hamstrings I'm short so this is actually like my foot placement is actually kind of high um, just for me and my body so I actually feel it amazingly in my hamstrings and I go to the next leg and I do another 15 reps I didn't keep all 15 reps in the video because I mean it's just 15 reps of leg press and then I ended today with just some calf raises on the leg press but that was it it was amazing go heavy give this workout a try Hello, happy Sunday. It is 8 o'clock in the morning, about 8.30 actually, and I just did the first portion of my photo shoot. I wanted to film like back the behind the scenes, but Brian forgot the camera. Um, so I, ooh, we are headed back home real quick because I forgot um, sneakers like a pair of Nikes I only brought my Converse and I meant to bring Nikes but I forgot so I'm just headed home really quick to grab those uh, the photo shoot at the beach went so fucking well oh my god I was so like nervous about doing a photo shoot because I've never done one before and so like I was thinking it was going to be awkward and weird and terrible and I was going to look ugly and I wasn't going to know how to pose and I was just like already projecting that I was going to suck which and last night in bed I was I told literally told Brian I'm like I have to stop saying that it's going to be awkward because if I keep saying the photo shoot is going to be awkward then it's going to be awkward like I'll be awkward so um I'm working with <clears throat> this amazing photographer her, her name is Susie I will put her Instagram handle on the screen below if you're in Florida I highly fucking recommend I told her she's probably gonna be the only person I ever have shoot me like I'm really not kidding even Brian like we're gonna get a photo shoot for him she's a uh, fucking amazing I love her like I can see her being like a girlfriend of mine I love her and um hair and makeup was included in the shoot which was fucking awesome so I didn't even have to think about hair or makeup which was like clutch so I have kimchi and turkey um deli turkey the second part of my meal I guess is four cheddar rice cakes but I might just eat those like in between like when I'm getting dressed I'm not really sure I usually eat breakfast around 9 30 and it's 8 30 so I'm trying to keep my same schedule, um, so I'm thinking of just having like my protein and kimchi now, and then maybe eat my rice cakes around 9.30, but we'll see. I'm just kind of playing it by ear, uh, but I just want to give you a little update, and then yeah, that's about it. We're about to be home. I'm going to eat this. I'll see you soon. Hey guys, it is now Monday the 9th, and... I didn't vlog anything else yesterday on Sunday. I was thinking about taking out my camera and just like kind of doing a little review of my meal prep, but some unexpected work came up and I was just in one of those moods where I just wanted to like, just like be a normal human and just like cook and not just like not take out my camera and just fucking cook and put the food away and just like try to have a Sunday where I could like relax because I was up so early I was exhausted my body was wrecked from this leg workout the heavy leg workout so I am just closing out the video right now I did want to add some information I should have vlogged this yesterday because it was like raw and real but like I said I was just like I was in such a bad mood after this happened and I think this is why I didn't pick up my camera for the rest of the day because this kind of just put me in a shitty mood so oh my god listen to what I did first time I have not hit my macros <laughs> since fucking I don't even know 2016 I've hit my macros to the fucking gram every goddamn day so 
my macros got switched on Saturday and they were set to one thing. Paul set them to one thing and then I was confused by something he said in his email so I emailed him back later on in the day to like clarify and in that email he was like you know what after looking at everything let me just make some adjustments so he made like little tiny adjustments to my macros very small but he lowered my lowest carb day from 225 to 200. So I go from 305 carbs and then I go to 200 carbs to get that like severe deficit that's very important uh, to stimulate fat loss. So on Sunday, um, no, on Saturday, that was the day that I was supposed to eat 200 carbs. I had already logged my day with the previous numbers that he gave me. And I was like, okay, great. No big deal. I can make this adjustment. I've only had two meals today. No big deal. So I go in my, my fitness pal. I switch some stuff around. I think I'm like, oh, that was easy. I got this. And then yesterday on Sunday, when I'm like I'm copying over my meals because I'm eating the same exact stuff. So I'm just copying from last week to this week. And I'm looking and I'm like, what the fuck? This makes no sense. Why did I eat 220 carb on Saturday instead of 200? So I guess, I don't know what my brain was thinking. I was at the nail salon when I made the adjustment. I don't know if I just like didn't finish and I thought I did, but Long story short, I was supposed to eat 200 grams of carbs on Saturday, but I ended up eating 220 grams of carbs on Saturday, and I freaked out. I cried. I'm not going to lie. I cried for a hot minute. Um, Brian was trying to calm me down. I texted Paul, and I was like, Paul, what the fuck? I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm crying, and he was like, stop crying like why are you he literally said crying with a question mark don't be silly you're fine um so i just reduced my carbs uh to 200 on sunday so it was a little fucked up but yeah the first time i fucked up my macros in like two years <laughs> a year and a half uh, i was devastated but it's okay today is monday i didn't vlog anything today i'm literally just doing this to kind of close out the vlog so i can get this out to you guys because this vlog is a couple days worth of stuff that i did uh today i ate 250 grams of carbs and um, my weight has actually been up a little bit um this morning i was 107 point i don't even remember two four 107.2 107.4 um but i talked to paul and it's i know it's because of my really heavy leg day that you saw in this video you saw me fucking crush every single lift and i am like brutally sore and i know i'm inflamed i mean my little tiny body lifted a ton of weight so i know i'm just inflamed um and i didn't take an epsom salt bath yesterday like i usually do on my rest day so all those different factors and i know that's why my weight is up a little bit so i'm actually really okay with it i'm not upset i know why my weight is up um so i'm actually really fucking i don't care it's totally fine um my body is responding very well i'm looking good when i'm posing so um i am up a little bit on the scale but i'm just hoping um it goes down as we increase food because that tends to happen with me the more i eat the more my body like lets go so uh tomorrow is 275 grams of carbs which is always fun and um yeah i just want to close out the video say thank you guys give this video a thumbs up if you liked it if you liked the commentary behind the workout uh give this a thumbs up just be for the fucking simple fact that i lifted all this heavy ass weight um little strong girls hell yeah so i'm gonna go i'm gonna edit this video and i will see you guys in the next one bye